Hey everyone, so today we're doing a bit of a bike check. These are pretty much the bikes that I have built up. I do have a couple of extras, but they're not in running state at the moment. I do have some frames and stuff for projects later in the line, but these are pretty much what I can ride any other day. So some of them you haven't seen on the channel, and some of them have changed quite a bit, so I thought it'd be good to go over sort of how they are sitting at the moment. Like the rock hopper used to be a drop bar bike. Starting off with the hard jumper. So this is that 1990 hard rock, I think it was, that's painted up as a stump jumper. It's still in really good condition. Um, the basket's probably taken the most brunt of it. I can probably bend that back into shape. But the paint job, this is a spray dot bike, and the paint job has held up really well. This is my main commuter bike, it's seen a couple of thousand k's just in 2023 alone. So there's a few spots where there's been some paint damage, like there's been some chain suck here, and up here, I didn't put a, like a cable rub sticker here, so there's been some cable rub through, and on the drive side where I lean it up against stuff, um, there's a few scratches on that side too. At the moment it's currently rocking some Schwab Marathon Plus tyres. I did have some, some works, the homage, green ties on it, but as it got into winter I started getting a couple of punches and I didn't really want to have to deal with that, especially in the rain. It's got a centre kickstand as, now, as well now, it's a pleasure dual leg kickstand. So these are the some works tyres. They're really good, I really enjoyed using them, but um, yeah, coming into winter there's just more debris on the road and stuff. Giant boulder. This has a lot of sentimental value to me. I didn't have this exact bike, but I had a 1989 giant iguana with the similar sort of decals and stuff. Um, back when I was like an early teenager, backing around with mates and stuff. So I've only changed the handlebar on it. Handlebar, pedals and tyres. But yeah, full mountain Alex group set and RM20 rims. The rims should polish up quite nicely. We're going to do a build video on this at some point. Really like the decals on it, and it's quad butted. Let's see the old bike shop sticker. Pretty cool. The old Mountain LX. Oh, and I put the rear rack on it as well. Nice old Blackburn mountain rack. Pretty cool. The 89 Rock Hopper that I have, this used to be a drop bar bike, and I've had it built up a few different ways, but this is the way. I'm riding it at the moment. I really like it. I just threw this rear rack on. Um, but yeah, so it's a Velo Orange Clunker Bar and Holy Roller tires at the moment. It's got some Ergo grips just while I was testing it out. But the handlebar really suits the bike. These are the 2.4 Holy Rollers as well. It was rocking some XTR wheels, but I've put those on another bike to get rid of them so I don't have the XTR wheels on it at the moment. Using a stem shifter, I really like using stem shifters. Especially on like the sort of cruisier bikes. Just a nice feel to it. And then the other side I can use my bell, because this is a one by bike. To the rear rack, it's just that saddlebag support that I did in another video. And then it's a Wald 135, I think it is. Still a little bit of clearance there, but not too much. Really like the look of it this way. The Cannondale fixed gear bike, SN2000 I think it is. Pretty much the same as it was in the video. They've probably changed the pedals. The eccentric BB is still going really well. I haven't had to adjust the chain or anything. I check it every now and then. Um, don't know how many k's it's got, three, four hundred probably by now. I don't use it terribly often, um, probably once every second week or so I take it for a commute. Really like riding it though, but... Uh, the stump jumper. So after this clip I 
changed up a few things and I put it up for sale and then it sold. So I won't be keeping the stump jumper. Um, it's currently still in my possession for the next couple of weeks until the new owner picks it up. But I had it set up with different wheels for a little while. And yeah, really like riding this bike, but we've got a Trek carbon Y-frame that we're going to build up. Probably my most popular bike and the most changed since the video is my 99 Hard Rock. So this bike was disconverted in the video by Jefferson Bikes. So the drivetrain is still the same. I've got to put a new chain on it. Um, it's probably got just under 2000 Ks on this chain. Paint, everything's all pretty much in the same condition. I've changed the seat, it's still the same dropper post. Got this cool Necro Recycles reflector. I put some DTH and an Ardent tire on it. And the rear wheel will change up to a Sun Ringle or Sun Ringlay. Really cool sounding hub. Some another big change on the bike is this Corey York Monster Fork. It's a really unique, really cool looking fork. I think it really suits the bike. Beautiful crown on it. Just an awesome looking fork. Some peregrine brake levers. These are old BMX brake levers and they have these cool locks on them. These are mainly used for old freestyle tricks, um, flatland tricks and stuff, but I find them really helpful for commuting so they don't the bike doesn't roll in the train. Another huge upgrade for me is the custom Doom handlebar. So both the handlebar and the fork I rusted and patinaed to sort of suit the bike a bit more. But yeah, really nice parts. Really love the Doom handlebar. So this is custom like to my requirements and stuff. Front rack is a ruck rack with a walled 137 on it. So the handlebar I tried a few different ones and I ended up liking the Ritchie Coyote bar with about 35 degrees back sweep. So that's what I based it off with a bunch of different uh, other dimensions. The spot single speed. I didn't do a video on this because this is basically the setup that I had on the Jameis. So the Jameis Dragon Pro. I swapped over the drivetrain and stuff. So this is running two cogs so I can run two different ratios. Some wheels I got off a different bike. So currently it has Hope. Um, yeah, Hope Pro 2 SS rear hub and the Pro 2 on the front as well. Really aggressive sounding rear wheel. This is it with a decent amount of grease and oil in it as well. Um, it didn't really quiet down too much. Again, this is the Richie Coat handlebar. We've got some nice Odyssey monolever trigger levers. Really like using these. So these are a BMX brake lever. And you can use them with the Avid Road BB7 caliper. It's the same pull ratio. Using a Kona P2 fork on it. Same as the setup on the Jameis. This is a small production bike from Golden in Colorado. Really nice handling frame. So it doesn't really show up in the videos, but um, the down tube on this bike is a really nice teardrop shape. Beautiful tubing on it. Moving over to the Canada Cyclocross, you've probably seen this in a couple of little clips in some of the other videos. I haven't done anything to this bike, uh, we're going to do a video on it at some point, but pretty stock. Uh, I think the tyres and the seat are about the only thing that's changed from factory. I don't know what handlebars it was supposed to come with, but the wheels and drivetrain and everything is all stock. They put this little Cannondale seat bag on it because they had that, I think it came from James. Thanks James, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it came from James. <laughs> yeah, it comes with a head shock from stock, 
and these beautiful colorways blue rims and everything the Canada hooligan this is about the same as I had it I've done a few more skids on the tires and they're wearing down a bit so that's only any <laughs> real downside to running these soft compound tires but really liking the drivetrain setup and everything I do want to change the front rack that's about the only thing that I'd want to change on this bike probably take off the mud guards now that we're in summer although we have had quite a bit of rain up until the past couple weeks so still rocking that box 8 speed setup and the ride far handlebar really liking this nice and comfy such a quirky looking bike so I'll probably change the front rack at some point um, but it's nice to have that little bit of carrying capacity but I just don't think it suits the bike Coming into the last couple ones in the video, this is a state bike code Clunker. Clunker, sorry. So not too many of these in New Zealand. There's a Snap-on one that's also shown up. But, um, and a Thomas. Thomas is trying to grab that, but... Yeah, this is the only one that I've seen in the flesh. So this is a 27.5 Coaster Brake Clunker bike. They, no, I think the Snap-on one was a... Uh, it does have cantilever brakes, so and something a little bit of difference. I did change the front tire just because I wanted to see the clearance, and I didn't actually think that the rims would be double wall rims, but they are. So, so it should be pretty strong, or strong enough until we upgrade them. Probably one of my favorite bikes. This is my Kona unit. It's been modified, so this was the one that came out single speed. It's got some different decals on it and stuff now. Just to make it a little bit more suitable. <laughs> I think that's a Blackburn front rack. It's running a 12 speed friction setup. This is a modified dual shifter that used to run on the green Kona, Kona Lava Dome. It's a Soma Dream Riser Bar, the OG one. Um, ESI chunky grips and a charge spoon saddle and a brand X dropper post and just a couple of little SRAM components and these suitably purple pedals I think the purple looks really cool with the pink the pink doesn't look nearly as cool as it does in person um, last bike, the Ginelli Gazetta this is my sort of fast, it's not that fast, I don't, I don't have an extremely high ratio on it. Um, it's just missing the crank at the moment because I put that on the squid. But I've got some SRAM Omniums for it when I do the build video. And it's working a bull moose handlebar, which is really comfy on this bike. So it's got the Araya Super Aero wheels that were on the GT Force. Never thought I'd own one of these. But this one showed up and I'm glad I grabbed it. Really nice riding bike. Nice tubing, it's got 32C tyres on it. Yeah, I think it just looks really classic and really cool looking bike. Something coming up in the future, we've got the Nishiki Alien. Um, current moment, we've got this built up and I'm just working on the video. But this is it as it came to me. Something that wasn't a bike but it's still a highly valuable piece of my fleet is this Bobcat trailer it can carry pizzas or bikes I've got a little front hub that's sort of ground flat on one side and just has a U-bolt going through it and then I just put the fork of the bike in that and then put a strap over the top tube really cool, really cool little trailer this it handles really well unless you have like a really tall bike in the trailer um, like with a high center of mass the trailer just takes anything really another bike coming up is the rock combo we've also got the gt tempest and then this disc converted gt avalanche this was recently disc converted we've got the giant kdex coming up as well which you've seen in probably some other videos and that's pretty much all We've got some other projects and stuff, but don't want to reveal too much. 
thanks so much for checking out the video. Um, if you made it this far, I really appreciate your support and everything. I have recently just set up memberships for the channel. So as well as, you know, liking and sharing and su subscribing and everything, um, you can go a little bit further if you have the means to. I know times are tough at the moment, um, but I've set up memberships so you can chuck in like a couple of dollars there if you feel like it. Um, I'll leave a link for memberships in the description below. But don't feel pressured to. Watching the videos and stuff is it's more than enough support. I'm always so amazed, like, I didn't think we'd get to this many subscribers and regular viewers and stuff. It's it's amazing. So th thanks for all the support. I'll see you all in the Nishiki Alien video coming up soon. I just got to edit that and put a couple of extra clips and stuff because I forgot to do some wheelies in it, on it. Uh, let us know down below what bike you prefer or what bike you would want to ride yourself. And yeah, I'll see you in this video soon. Thanks. Bye.